What's up everybody, Rylar here, continuing our playthrough for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Alright, so last time we made it to Rito Village, and we are uh, continuing that main quest. Uh, we're going to go meet Hearth, who's a Rito over here. Before we begin, give us a like and subscribe down below. Give us a comment of what you like so far and what you'd like to see in the future. And share this with your family and friends. If you, you think that they like Zelda, or if you'd enjoy their... If they would enjoy our playthrough, then give us a shout out. All right, so let's go ahead and continue. So here's Neck the Rito. Uh, hey there, are you here because you spotted the bonfires? The blizzard makes it hard to see where you're going, so we keep these bonfires going as a beacon for lost travelers. They eat up a lot of firewood, but it's worth it. You can spot them even from up in the air. Though as proud as I am of them, they can't beat the spotlights set up around the fancy Skyview Tower. It won't warm you up like a bonfire will, but it's hard to beat it for its size and sheer brightness. The Hylians are pretty incredible to have built something so impressive. Hebra Trailhead Lodge. So, okay, so this must be Hearth. Link, you're alright. I worried after I heard that you had gone missing. What happened? Ah, so you're looking for Princess Zelda. Sorry to tell you that I haven't heard anything about her. Our feathers are are full dealing with a more immediate problem. Everyone from the village has left the, to scavenge for food or to investigate the cause of this terrible blizzard. And all that has been hampered by the sky monsters that seem to be everywhere. We're spread too thin to deal with them properly on top of everything else. Sorry, bud. Wish I could do more for you. Oh. Though now that I think of it, maybe Tullin could help. <laughs> You're right. You weren't around for it, but little Tullin has developed a way with wings that puts the adults to shame. Even in this vicious weather, he patrols skies and reports all kinds of useful information. Oh. His wind gust technique is something to see. None of the rest of us can pull it off. Even Stern Teba acknowledges that Tullin's skill is a cut above. The kid does preen about it more than he should, but, well, it's worth asking him, at least. Last I saw him, he was with uh, Gesane and Le Leza, L Le Lesa on a trip to find food. I think they were in their, on their way to Hebra South Summit Cave. That's to the northeast from here. The cave is past the cliff out front and up the mountain road. There should be a bonfire making marking the spot. Ah. Find the bonfire at the mouth of the cave and you'll be on your way to finding Tullin. Okay, so we go out this way. And we gotta make our way to that cave. Oh, let me uh, switch from my flight suit to... Just some extra points. If this is, I hope I can find a great fairy soon so I can upgrade my gear and get more uh, defense power. So. Um, Hebra South Summit Cave. I'm guessing it's somewhere around here. So, maybe up there? Let's... Does this person... This is, we talked to this person last time. Let's see. Ah. My friends are in the middle of gathering provisions at Hebra South Summit Cave, which is farther up from here. Okay, so... They keep a bonfire going at the cave entrance, so it, if the cold gets too much uh, for you, look for the cave and warm up there. So the cave is up here. And I see some ice keys up here. 
And a vocal blend. Oh, darn it. Come on. Oh. Come on. Ice keys are the worst. <laughs> Oh, shoot. Whoa, there's more. Uh... Okay, I was able to freeze those two. Let's fuse... Feathered Edge. <laughs> there. Increase that sword. Uh, let's see if there's anything by this fire. Nope, okay. Let's go ahead and keep going up the mountain, see if we can find that cave. There's a horn. It's gotta be here somewhere. Just trying to look for the fire at the entrance to the cave. Here's some building material, so it's got to be close. Oh. What a disaster. I came all this way to scrounge mushrooms and now this I'll never get to the deep parts of the cave with a messed up wing oh. Chilstrums grow all over this cave so I figured it'd be a prime spot for scavenging a little food but cold water has built up in here now and I can't pick any chilstrums without crossing it ordinarily my wings would take me right over a little pond like this mm. but I hurt my wing in a small scra scrap with monsters I don't see how I can fly over the pond in this condition. The worst part is, I was just bragging to the folks in the village that I'd bring back even more chill shrooms uh, than last time. Uh. If I don't come back with at least ten of them, there'll be egg on my face. Well, let's see, how many do I have? I have two. Well, crossing the cold pond. Talanto Peak Cave. Well, let's see here. Can I? Nope. Uh. Oh, shoot. Get out of the water. Man, those hearts just... Man. I can't reach that. Gosh, I don't dare try and get that. Um, 
Um. Nope. Okay. Hmm. Well, oh, you know what? Maybe I can... There were some building materials out here. Maybe I can make a raft for myself. Oh, there was a lizard on the wall. Okay, then I'm going to take out one of these right here. Got it. Now we can get all the sh uh, the chill shrooms that we need. And some bright caps. Cool. Um I guess I can blow up these and see if I can get any materials. Let's see where's my Bomb flower. All right, just some flint, amber. Okay, cool. I kind of, I wish I could just take out the bomb flowers and, um, use them like normal bombs but I can't all right cool let's go give these chill shrooms to that Rito and then we'll I came to this cave to gather still shrooms. Do to do to do. Uh, is this enough? Wait, you didn't actually cross the pond and pick the chill shrooms, did you? You weren't worried about falling into the freezing water? Well, gosh, that's really brave of you. I can't just take them for free, though. Here, why don't I give you this? Cool. Uh, you know, this isn't the only cave in these mountains with pools with of freezing water. Be careful where you explore. Um. Uh, where's Tullin? You're looking for Tullin. He's out at another cave gathering food with uh, Gassane and them. There's a bonfire marking the entrance. You'll find it eventually if you go west down the mountain slope. If you start freezing on your way there, take a minute by a fire to warm up. West by the mountain slope. So I guess I just gotta keep going this way I get then. I don't see a bonfire at all. I 
I don't see a bonfire at all. This is interesting. Oh, I wonder if I have to... I wonder if I have to complete the block puzzle, but... I wonder what this does. Oh, okay. It's a rocket. You can probably put it on a thing to make things go faster. Continue west. I mean, I just don't know. I guess I'll continue up this path and see if we can figure out where that cave is. Okay, I can't... I'm not going to make it up there, so I'm going to have to find the long way around. I feel like I fall faster in this one than I did in Breath of the Wild. Okay, let's see if I can... Alright, let me see if I can get up here. Gotta wait for my stamina. Alright, now this one's gonna test my patience. Because we've got... I won't be able to do any... Quick jumps at all. If I can get to this ledge and regain some stamina. Okay, I was able to regain a little bit. Should be able to make it to the top if I don't do a quick jump. So yeah, it's a trick that I learned that's actually nice about trying to climb these mountains if you slowly ride them up 
or, or s s go up uh, one that you can. Uh, they're slightly slanted so that way you can just run up them and it saves some energy. Okay, now let's see. Oh goodness. Is there anything I can use in this area? Oh, no. Oh, man. Okay. Go over here. Oh, great. There's a Lionel. Where is this cave? It's west of here. I am moving so far south. I've got to cross this water somehow. I guess I can come up and around, but... I'm worried this Lionel's going to see me and it's going to be big trouble. Yeah, I think he's going to see me. What's... Why did it light up weird right here? That's weird. Did it look like it lit up pretty weird? Alright. Interesting. Well, we are almost up here, and I think if I can just get over here, I can glide over across the water. I'm guessing it's somewhere in here. Spending a lot of time exploring this area. Is this that same? It is. It's that. It's that same structure that I saw before. Okay, well, now I need to find out where this cave is. Oh, come on. There we go. Goodness. I feel like I can always hit them first. Why am I not able to? I've got to be close. I wonder if the cave is here or if it's somewhere else. I see something right here though. This has got to be a Korok. Yep. Cool. We got four Korok seeds. Man, we are just spending so much time trying to find... Oh, this guy. My friend and I got separated.
Oh, all the way from up there, huh? My friend is sending out a smoke signal. I can't wait to catch up. I'm so tired, though, I can't move. I gotta keep moving this way, so... I'm gonna see if I can build a slanted bridge of some kind to get up here. kind of bypass most of this mountain. Maybe that'll help. Well, here's that Korok's friend. I'm waiting here for my friend. <laughs> I wonder... If I need to connect them somehow. Oh, looks like this guy's over here struggling with, uh... This one's name is Kathy. Okay, so, hmm, are you traveling too? Oh, me. My name is Kathy. I'm just a rootless wanderer, going any way the wind blows, and right now it's blown me onto the trail of the great bandit Misko's legendary treasure. I've been following a rumor that one piece is in a cave near here. Trouble is, the rumor wasn't totally clear on where the cave was. I traveled a long way only to come up empty. Maybe I should try some searching somewhere else. Well, I wonder if it's the same cave that I'm looking for. Question is, I just don't know. Oh, there's a there's a Hinox up there. That's not what I was trying to do, but... Goodness, what the heck? Come on. Some more building materials. The cave has got to be near here. I've made it all the way up and around, and I'm west, but I can't find it. I don't see any bonfires of any kind. Okay, right here was that one guy, the one Rito, and he said to go west. I mean, oh my, wait, go west of here, oh my heck, oh my gosh, I've been going the wrong way, oh, I'm so dumb, <laughs> you guys probably heard that at the very beginning, and have been making fun of me this whole time that I've been going the opposite direction. 
You've got to be kidding me. Okay, I'm going to skip ahead. I'm going to go back to that Rito real quick. Okay, here's this Rito again. Where's Tolan? You're looking for Tolan? He's a cave gathering food with the bonfire. He can go west down the mountain slope. Northeast, southwest. Oh my goodness, down this mountain slope. It's got to be over here then. I've been going the wrong way. Oh my gosh, it's over there. Oh, I am so mad at myself right now. You guys are all probably laughing at me. Yeah, gotta be kidding me. Found the cave. Hebra South Summit Cave. Didn't think I'd be seeing anyone else in these mountains anytime soon, what with the blizzard and all. I'm here because it's a good place to find food for my people. Why are you here? Looking for Tullin, huh? Fair enough. He's farther in this cave with Gassane. They're scavenging for food. No, I'm not going to show you the way. I need to keep an eye on what we've amassed so far. Be on your guard. There's a creature in that cave that hops around on the walls. It probably won't bother you if you stay away from it. Good luck finding Tullin. Great. I wonder if I even need to go this way because it looks like it's wa there's water in here. There are some chillfin trout in here, which I will gladly take. And let's go deeper into the cave and see what we, if we can find Tullin. go down that way. Most likely they're up. Oh, it's one of those uh, creatures. What is it called again? Uh, a hor horriblin? Kind of like horrible, horriblin? Got us a sticky lizard. <laughs> it was pretty easy to, to take out, but... Guess I gotta make a fire to go further. Oh, what the heck? Come on. There we go. Do I gotta... How do I get up further? Do I guess I gotta climb? I guess I gotta climb. Man, this is an adventure just trying to find Tullin. I could have been done with this a lot sooner though if I hadn't gone east instead of west. Still can't believe I messed up that bad. It's 
spent a lot longer exploring when I couldn't have. Oh well. It's all over now, so... Oh, there's a stone talus, or a stone peblet thing. That Tullin, here's Gassane. Uh, what are you going to do with that? What are we going to do with that boy? It's just like him to fly off on his own and leave all the food we collected behind. Oh. Well, I'll be. What, what is a Hylian doing all the way up here in such a fierce blizzard? Mm. You're here to talk to Tolan, eh? You just missed him, unfortunately. Our task was to scavenge food in this area, but we just saw a flock of monsters fly past outside, this ca outside the cave. The same ones that have been sighted around the village lately, in fact. I told the others we should return right away to report them, but Tolan clearly wasn't listening at all. He said, I'm going to follow them back to their nest and flew off alone before I could protest. If you leave the cave and head north, you can spot a lone cedar tree on Talanto Peak. That's where we saw the monsters. No doubt Tolan followed them there. I know he thinks he's unbeatable, but he really shouldn't be taking these chances. Well, we gotta go follow him. Uh, there's some bokoblins up here. Head north that way. I'm making sure I'm getting my north, east, south, and west correct now. Uh, let me just look at the adventure log. A lone cedar tree. So it must be on the map you can see a cedar tree. So I wonder if that's the one that I need to get to. That one right there. Ah, there he is. Should have kept my guard up. Stupid monster. Whoa, Link, where did you come from? What happened? Oh, uh, you see, that rotten monster took my good bow. See, that's the bow napper. I've got to get it back. Help me out, Link. Sure. Really? Thanks. Did you know I can blow a strong gust of wind anywhere I feel like? I'll do it for you, too. That way you can glide over to where that monster went. Just tell me where to point the gust, and I'll make it for you. Tullin's power of wind. When Tullin's aura is chain charged, he can create a stream of wind that blows straight forward. This can be used for bursts of speed while paragliding. So we'll come over here to this, this thing right here. Got him. What is that thing? There we go. I owe you a big time, Link. Without you, my bow might have been lost for good. Uh oh. Oh, they're carrying Boko Blins, huh? There's more of them. 
Okay, I gotta be very careful. Blue Boca bins are dangerous. Alright, they're not gonna make a fool out of me twice. Let's go get them together. Oh, dang. Um, let me eat some food. Because there's one that gives you, like, let me give this, this a try. It gives me, uh, a, an attack, I think. Cold weather attack. Oh, dang it. Sweet. Word with that was going to be a little harder, but I've got to get better weapons or figure out m more uh, weapon fusion tips. So, uh, hey, look, I think those might have been a hideout for those monsters. Oh, what was that wind? It couldn't have been. There's no way. We must have must have been something else. Hey, Tolan, Link. Huh? Oh. Oh. <laughs> There's Hearth. That was some impressive teamwork, you two. Oh, you saw that, Hearth? Talk about embarrassing. I didn't listen when Gassain tried to stop me. I thought I could handle it. But I just ended up losing my favorite bow to those stupid things. I thought I was fully fledged, but there's probably no way I could have gotten it back on my own. Mm. I bet now you see why we were treating you like a small chick. Yeah, you were right. It, it really is important to work as a flock. I think I finally get what Dad has been trying to tell me all this time. Is that all there is to the story? It seems unlike you... It seems unlike you let your bow to be taken, Tullin. Unlikely, probably, meant. Oh, right. Funny story about that. There was this whole thing with Princess Zelda. I spotted her getting attacked by a monster. It was such a surprise that I dropped my guard and it stole my bow. But I guess she was fine because then she zoomed up above the cloud. What? Princess Zelda flew above the cloud? How can that be? Hmm, seems like a stretch, but we're not going to get to the bottom of it sitting around here. Oh. Tullin Link Tullin, Link came out here looking for Princess Zelda. You should go with him and investigate the cloud you say the princess soared into. Huh, but I thought I wasn't allowed. Uh. I got a report before coming here. We think it's likely that the blizzard is coming from inside that cloud after all. I want to see for myself as soon as I can, but the strong winds make any approach from the sides impossible. The only way in is through the top, but there's not a Rito alive capable of crossing this stormy sky and making it all the way there. Well, except for one. I'm talking about you, Tullin. Only you have the skill and training to create gusts at will. Tallinn will be the finest Rito warrior of all once he understands the value of working with his allies. Oh. You know who said that to me? Your old dad, Teba. Dad said that? Oh. Yep, and I'll make sure he knows that you what you accomplished here today. Now it's time you go with Link to find Princess Zelda and whatever's causing this blizzard. No problem, the two of us together have got this. I saw Princess Zelda up on the Sky Islands near Hebra Peak. Let's check there first. Link, Tullin, we're counting on you. Okay, so we've got Tullin as an ally. And we also have this Falcon Bow, but I'm going to have to drop something. Let's drop. Alright, so go to the 
go with Tolan to the Sky Islands above Hebra Peak, where he claims he saw Princess Zelda. Well, question is, how do we get there? Well, let's check our reverse time. Let's see. I don't see anything here that looks like it fell from the sky. I'm guessing it's that right there. So I guess we'll make our way. We'll make our way this way. Um, so yeah, let's. Maybe we can use uh, Tullin's ability up here. Oh, look, a chest. A Zonite sword. Let's drop this, since that's a combination weapon, and so we can cr we can combine something with it already with it. Cool. Climb up here. Man, there's tons of Boca Blin and everything. this one sort of oh darn it go this way go around Okay, we got that guy. I wish I had the ability from Breath of the Wild with uh, Rivali's Gale. Oh, oops. I gotta redo that. Because Rivali's Gale lets me go straight up instead of straight forward. Keep moving up the mountain. Oh. No! No, dang it. Uh, how did that happen? Now I gotta climb back up again. Okay, let's try this again. 
This time I won't mess up the timing on my jumps. There we go. Uh-oh. There's a flying creature and they've got a giant snowball. I still don't know what those flying creatures are. Let's talk to this guy. If only it were possible to find out what's inside of this blizzard. Oh. Why, if it isn't tall and I was too focused on the cloud to notice you. But if you've come here, that means... Yep, they said I could go up there. I knew it. Something told me you were the best one for the mission. Everyone has admired your wind gust technique since you first demonstrated it. You may be the only Rito capable of rising above the cloud to find the truth among the turbulent skies. Give it your best shot. I'll be here watching your return. Thanks. Between Link and me, you won't be disappointed. Well, we'll go ahead and, and end it right there, you guys. Thank you so much for joining us. Next time, we will continue with uh, Tullin, and we will go into the Sky Island. Most likely, we're going to go get that right there, that, that shrine. So, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time. What's up everybody, Rylar here. Thank you so much for watching our video for The Legends of Zelda Tears in the Kingdom. If you like this video and you want to see more, give us a like and subscribe down below. Also, let us know in the comments what you like and what you'd like to see in the future. Also, share this video with your family and friends. The more people that come to the channel, the more we can build it up and bring you more great content. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.